Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to add pockets to any item of clothing. I have these pyjamas, but I find it annoying that they don't have any pockets, much like the majority of items I own, so I decided to add some. This method will work on any item of clothing as long as it has side seams, for example trousers, dresses, skirts and jackets. So let's get into it. To make my pockets, I needed a pattern. For this, I am using a piece of A4 paper. I started by placing my hand flat onto it with my hand at a slight angle and my wrist against the straight edge, like this. I then drew around my hand adding roughly an inch all the way around, so I had something like this. I then cut this out. This was my pattern piece. To make it easier for me to explain the next step to you, I wrote left on one side and right on the other. I used some leftover fabric from a previous project to make my pockets. I am using a bed sheet but any fabric will be fine for this. To make the pockets, I needed four pieces of fabric, two right pieces and two left pieces, one of each making one pocket. I placed my pattern onto my fabric with the straight edge of the pattern lined up with the straight edge of the fabric. I then pinned this in place. This was to stop my pattern from moving around while I cut out my fabric pieces. I then cut around my pattern piece. This is how it looked. I repeated this until I had my four pieces, two left pieces and two right pieces. Next, while wearing the trousers, I decided where I wanted my pockets to sit. I placed my hand where I wanted my pockets to be and used a pin to mark where the top of the pocket will sit. I then repeated this on the other side of the trousers and made sure I was happy with where the pins were and also made sure they were level. With the trousers inside out, I placed my pattern piece onto them with the straight edge against the seam and the top of the pattern lined up with the pin I had placed. I then marked where the top and the bottom of the pattern piece sat on the fabric so I knew how long my pocket would be. I removed the pins as they were no longer needed. Next, I ripped the seams open between the marks I had made, adding half an inch above and below the marks so it would be easier for me to attach the pockets. I used a seam ripper to do this, but scissors are fine. This is how it looked. I could now start attaching my pocket pieces. With the front of the trousers facing up, I started by taking the top layer of the trousers and folding it over so the right side of the fabric was showing. I then took one of my pocket pieces and with the right side of the fabric together, I lined the straight edge of the pocket piece up with the folded edge of the trousers and pinned it in place, making sure I was only pinning through one layer of the trousers. It sounds a bit confusing, but this is how it should look from the outside. I then repeated this on the other side of the trousers. Once everything was pinned in place, I sewed right pinned. This is how they looked once they were sewn. I then repeated this process on the other side of the seam to attach the other half of the pocket. This time the back of the trousers were facing up. I then sewed these pieces in place. This is what I had so far.
I now needed to sew the side seams back together where they had been opened above and below the pocket and also close up the pockets. With the trousers still inside out, I pinned around the edge of the pocket pieces and also along the gaps in the seams. Once I'd done this for both pockets, I sewed wide pinned. The pockets were now complete and this is how they looked. I was really pleased with how these turned out. So many items of women's clothing don't have pockets and this is such an easy and inexpensive way to solve that problem. This is such a great way to add pockets to any of your favourite clothes and you can make them as deep or as wide as you need or want them to be. I am now going to use this method to add pockets to all of my pocketless dresses and jackets. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.